Florida Governor Ron DeSantis today getting threatened with a possible new lawsuit over his administration's decision to block a new AP course on African American studies from getting taught in high schools. Here's civil rights lawyer Ben Crump just today. Watch. We're here to give notice to Governor DeSantis that if he does not negotiate with the college board to allow AP African American studies to be taught in the classrooms across the state of Florida, that these three young people will be the lead plaintiffs in a historic lawsuit. This week, Governor DeSantis made the argument that this AP course is a Trojan horse in his view for, and I'm quoting here, indoctrinating students with left-wing ideology. Now, the College Board is set to release a new framework for the AP course, which the Florida Education Department said it would welcome. NBC's Zinkley Esamwa is live in Tallahassee covering all of this for us. A any suggestions so far that DeSantis might change course here? It doesn't seem, if you look at his sort of path, history as past precedent, right, that that is going to happen. But where does this fight go next? Hey, Helly, yeah, so it remains unclear. It's been a busy day here in Tallahassee, and we know Republican Governor Ron DeSantis has a pattern of banning courses and lessons in critical race theory and lessons in sexual orientation and identity. So to critics like Ben Crump, they were not surprised by this latest move. But as you heard, if he does not back off this ban, Crump does intend to sue. I actually spoke with those three AP students who would also be plaintiffs, and many students were gathered here today expressing their support for the course. Now, interestingly, Hallie, here in Florida, black history is actually mandated. It must be taught. And the governor's office tells me they proudly teach black history and African-American history. However, they disagree with some lessons in the College Board's current curriculum. So as you mentioned, the College Board will be resubmitting a curriculum February 1st. Notably, that is the first day of Black History Month, so a lot to watch here, but definitely just the latest in a slew of culture war battles. Hallie. Zinkley Esamoah, thank you very much for reporting for us live there from Tallahassee.